Hello everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video! Well guys, today we will finally start working on Harry Potter dolls. Finally, because I am myself a huge fan of Harry Potter, really read all books, watched all movies, really love this universe, really one of my favorite stories ever. And I don't really know why I waited for such a long time with these dolls, with these makeovers. Because I honestly started buying the dolls from that Harry Potter doll collection. Remember this collection of dolls? In the very beginning of my channel. But then something happened. I don't know, maybe because Joan Rowling started to give in comments on topics <laughs> she has nothing to say about. I don't know, somehow I kind of put it all on hold. But the fact is that right now I have probably five or six dolls from this collection. Some of them I bought myself, some of them I've got as a gift lately. Thank you so much, we're going to work on your dolls very soon. But today I'm going to start with this uh, Severus Snape doll, because he was actually my favorite character from the books and from the movie. I also love the actor, I really love Alan Rickman, it's such a loss for, for us that he passed away a couple of years ago, because I really love him as Severus Snape. And also like this character arc is just amazing, he's really one of the best characters for me. And plus... You know, these dolls, they're a little bit questionable, or let's say not questionable, controversial maybe, because some things about them are not that good. For example, this plastic hair, I can see it already now that his hair is not real hair, but this is just molded plastic. And the same, I think, Harry Potter himself has the same hair, probably all male characters. Uh, some characters have also a little bit simplified outfits, but many of these characters have amazing face molds. And apparently, yeah, this Professor Snape doll has amazing face mold. He really looks like the actor, he really looks like in the film. And I think if I repainted myself, I can make him look even better. I can make him look really 100% alive and realistic. So, let's start our collection of Harry Potter dolls from this uh, Professor Snape doll. Let's unbox him now, let's take a closer look at his hair. I really hope I can disconnect it, but if I cannot disconnect this hair, then I will work with what we have with this plastic hair. But anyway, let's unbox it and let's see what is inside. And meanwhile, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Of course, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And please support my art here on YouTube with your likes. So, and now, let's start the makeover. Here he is, guys. Well, you know, I think I really like him. This outfit looks really nice to me. I really like how this cape is really big and flowing on the back. I just need to press it a little bit. The body feels solid. The arms are bendable as well as the legs. Yeah, it's a good flexibility. Nice, nothing to say. I also like that he has wrinkles on his hands. Really nice detail. Also, the boots look cute. I might customize them a little bit in the end. The wand looks also good. Honestly, I don't really remember exactly how the Snape's wand looked. We will check it a little bit later. So, let's undress him probably and then we'll figure out if his hair is removable. I really hope so. <laughs> Well, undressing Professor Snape felt a little bit weird, I can tell you honestly, but here he is. So now let's try to remove his hair without damaging his face and I really think it might be possible.
And yes, the wig is gone, it wasn't really that difficult, so great. I'm going to keep this plastic here, I might need it in the future for something I can't even imagine at the moment. So and now I want to give his head a regular human shape and for this I'm going to use a piece of thermoplastic. Okay, looking good, now let's finally remove his face with pure acetone. Then I will spray his face with the sealant to make it matte and then I will start drawing his face.
You know what I've noticed that's really interesting? The most of his facial features are sculpted really well, like close to the original. But somehow they've got completely wrong these folds here. You can see that the doll has these folds really full way going down. While Snape has it going just halfway down, and then he has rather more volume here going from the corner of his lips. So it's really interesting because the rest of the face they got really well. But anyway, you see these details just when you're looking at those faces under a microscope for hours. Okay, this is where I'm going to stop working on his face because it looks really good to me. And now I want to move on to his hair. And look guys, I still have some of this black hair left after my Yuzuru Hanyu doll that I've made a couple of weeks ago. If you've missed that video or if you're new on the channel you just want to know how to turn regular acrylic yarn into shiny doll hair, please go check out that video. And I think I will have enough hair for this tiny head, so let's start attaching it using tacky glue.
here is his hair the next day when all this glue got dry. So now we can start cutting and styling it. To make his hair more flat I will cover it with kitchen foil and then I will let it like this for a couple of hours. It's just very important here to keep his face open, otherwise if you let this plastic touch in his face for a couple of hours, it might uh, let some wrinkles on his face, a little bit damage this Mr. Super Clear sealant. So this plastic is supposed to cover just the hair, just the head. we get pretty decent looking hair I'm really happy with the result so now let's add some gloss to his eyes and then I can probably call his hat finished so the hat looks gorgeous now I want to blush his body really quickly to match its color to the face and for this I will first sand it with nail buffers to remove the gloss from the top and then I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear and after this I will cover it with soft pastels. Okay, the head and the body look really perfect together now, so I can put them aside and take a look at his wand and also at the boots. And you know, the wand is actually an exact copy of the Snape's wand from the movie, so I have nothing really to change here, let's maybe dry brush it a little bit to make it more interesting and textured, but for the rest it's absolutely perfect. Then I'm going to do approximately the same thing to his boots, just paint some details to make them more interesting than just this plain black plastic. So yeah, that's it. These accessories were good on their own and I didn't really have much to do this time. And it means that we can put everything together and take a look at the end result pictures. Well, this is my Professor Snape, guys, and you know, I think he looks really hot in my version. This face mold is really cool, by the way. It looks quite Native American to me, probably, I don't know, very cool. So, if someone is suddenly looking for a model to make a Native American doll, this would be your perfect face to work on. As I've mentioned already earlier, the bottom part of the face is sculpted a little bit different from Snape's, but 
it doesn't really matter. He still looks very cool, very realistic, and I really like that he looks dark and sad at the same time, because this is what I really like about this character, the duality of him, and I think I kind of could express it on the doll's face. So it was a little bit a shorter makeover, like an express face up this time to keep myself distracted from the war in Ukraine. My family is safe, guys. Thanks so much for asking in the comments, but they are in Belarus. So there is no straight war there like the neighbors. But living there is very sad already for a long time and it's getting just worse and worse and worse all the time. So yes, they are safe. But it's a sad situation in general. So I will donate a part of the proceeds from this video to Ukrainian funds and I will do so every week till the end of this invasion. This will be my personal input into this situation and also like this I will stay motivated to make more dolls, to make more videos, to be able to donate more money all the time. So and now let's talk about Harry Potter. I would really love to know if you want to see me repainting more dolls from this collection and also who your favorite characters are. I think I would repaint Luna next. I already have the doll and I really like her character, so this would be my choice, but please let me know what you think. Who do you want to see repainted by me? Well, and this doll is now for sale on eBay, so please check it out if you are also a Snape fan. The link is in the description box under this video as well. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. Normally, the next one will be, I don't know, probably next week, Friday. Again, working on a couple of projects at the same time, so it's difficult to say. Probably it will be the next week, Friday. But anyway, subscribe, hit the bell button, and you will be notified the moment my video goes live. So, have a nice weekend, everyone. Love you guys. Bye.